What's up guys, John Clay from Badger Security Survival. Today we're going to talk to you about a budget bug out bag and what it can do for you and your family. Let's get started. Okay, let's go with shelter first. Three basic needs of humans, shelter, food, and water. We're going to start with shelter here in this bug out bag. All right. We have paracord, which I probably have about 150, 250 in my, just my get home bag. I know you have quite a bit in your stuff. Yeah, I carry very different things, but just for this, you just need some sort of cordage and 550 cord to work for numerous things. Absolutely, especially when it comes to your shelter, which in this case is a tarp. Um, stringing that up in many different ways with that is very helpful. Having some, some form of warmth is good, so we have this emergency blanket here. Uh, also, next thing would be water. We don't have anything that purifies anything here. But we do have something to carry it in. You can boil water, have water in your house, bottled water, which, whichever way you want to go. And some uh, other things you want to bring with you too is some tools, something to get you through. What we carry or what you guys should carry is some sort of cutting tool. We'll start with that. Pretty basic. A knife, prying tool, does all sorts of things. Bottle opener, leather all. You want to do some leather work, you know, catch a deer, skin it, make a coat out of it, whatever you want to do. Got some other things there. Phillips screwdriver, wire cutters, you can cut some more cordage out. I mean, wire makes great cordage you can save your 550 for other things some other tools that we do carry is the 5-1 survival tool got a fancy whistle a compass practice your land nav you don't know about land nav ask a boy scout ask us we can show you a little bit some other things too is a hand fishing line hand fishing gear here you go you just catch some trout some pan fish don't need anything fancy just some weights some hooks some line Multiple use for this too, we can cover that in a second, but just some regular fishing line. Looks like this is like a 12 pound test, 8 pound test. It's perfect. You got fire starting equipment. That's actually going to progress onto that too, but you got some waterproof matches and some fire steel here. You got some tinder. You got this fire disc. This works great. We'll cover this in a later, later video too. Want to go into in depth. You just break this off, light it on fire, wet, windy. It'll go, throw your fire bundle on there. More things we're going to talk about too is a uh, or carry. I'm sorry, is this sewing kit? I mean, clothing is going to be pretty pretty readily available, but if you want to go get it, you can just patch this up. Got a coat, patch it up. Keep yourself warm, keep yourself dry. Lastly, is light. We got two sources here: quick down and dirty glow sticks. We got green and some yellow. They don't produce a whole bunch of light, but in a low light, kind of a light discipline situation, this works pretty well. Especially if no one's using MVGs or if they have MVGs, it doesn't matter anyway. And finally, a flashlight headlight combination. Flashlight for looking for things, urban scavenging, and a headlamp if you're trying to do stuff with two hands, trying to patch him up or make a fire or set up your shelter in the dark. Set up your shelter. Kind of hard to string up the tarp without both hands. Right. So that's why we carry some of that stuff. Lastly, the thing we carry was going to transfer over to is Vaseline. This is numerous things. You could take a piece of cotton. In some, this is more of first aid stuff, but you take cotton, this is made of fabric, you can dip that in some Vaseline, ball it up, spark it up, and it can transfer over to your first aid stuff. Now you don't want to put this on burns because it'll it'll cause it not to, but you can use it for other things. You can use it for wind protection on your face, or you can use it as a lip balm, and then numerous uses for this stuff, and not to mention you can start a fire with it. All right, we're going to move into a little bit more uh, first aid type things here. Uh, these uh, protection masks, they're called N95 masks. You can pick them up in any painting section anywhere. Uh, dust protection, part particle protection, germ protection, anything like that. These are very, very handy and they cost next to nothing and they give you 10 of them. Like you said, you could use them for fire, you can use them for insulation in your clothing, whatever you need to use them for. Uh, just a basic first aid kit here. You got your compass in here if you lose your handy dandy whistle for whatever reason. Uh, you got a your, your basic bandages, gauze, tape, a couple of different medications, moleskin in case you get a blister on your foot while you're walking. And last thing that we have in our first aid area is sun protection. You don't think about this until you're burned. Very nice to have a handy. All right, moving on, we're going to talk about some basic hygiene. You don't have to carry this stuff. We carry it as, as a kind of a, a pleasant thing to have. Germs, 
you know, not, not have antibiotics lying around if anything ever goes down. Even if you do get sick, and not even just like an end of the world situation, if you do get sick and get sick really quick, and it even takes two weeks to get to you, and that's almost two weeks too long. So you can just use some, and you can start a fire with this. Some soap. I mean, wash yourself, keep germs off, antibacterial. Don't use, don't bring Dove. You, you bring something antibacterial. The other thing you want to do too is don't use this, dip it in water and wash your hands with it. Shave some off, put it back in a box or store it in a plastic bag so uh, it doesn't get all nasty in your gear and, and you don't transfer those germs right. you're trying to get rid of too. Some other things too, not everyone carries it, but it's a toothbrush. I mean, this is going to now turn into a dental tool. No, I don't know, what's that, uh, an antiseptic, what's the numbing agent? I'm just ripping Clay's teeth out now because we didn't brush our teeth. But yeah, right. some things too is some, some lotion. Throw some lotion in there. Keep your hands dry. What happens too is you work with your hands a lot or some dry. You get some cuts on your hand. You start working. Get that can get infected. And it just gets exponentially bad. Another pleasantry item, but Clay's. What do you call that? You will have items, I guess. A critical item for him is some wipes. You can wash with this. You can. Wipe yourself with it. It's just it's a nice thing to have. Keep in mind, you live in a place like we do, and you have this sitting in like a car or some place in your garage, and it's not a heated garage. These wet wipes become ice wipes, and they are useless to you. I mean, you can use them. I'm not going to. Pass. You can warm them up, but it's going to take longer, and you're just sitting there all grungy anyway. So that's pointless. The last thing we're talking about is food. You want three days worth of food for every person you have on your team, so you should have three days worth of food. We just do the basic. Survivor prepper stuff, ramen. And then you got something to eat with. You're not eating with your hands like a caveman. Some high calorie. We have been probably now we've been telling you guys this in many videos. High calorie, sugar filled. You got some peanut butter. Great energy food. You got some crackers with peanut butter. Some more. You got some coffee for that boost in the morning. Throw it in your water bottle. Plus, if you're drinking swamp water, it takes. I mean, it's, it's purified, but it still tastes like swamp water. So, you might want to throw some of that in there more sugar you got some uh, granola bars in there and these little bad boys here these energy drink mixes Walmart you get like 20 of them for I think it was a dollar something like that them, yeah. two bucks it's not very much but you get a ton of them and they work amazing and then breakfast you got some energy food you got some high carbohydrate high sugar items in there some oatmeal and uh, some chocolate hot chocolate mix just for that sugar boost we did throw in a little bit of protein in here too. Some uh, canned tuna here. Oh, here it is all packed up. About 22 pound footprint, give or take water. The cost of this all together, we put it together at local Walmart. It was $74.19. Now the backpack wasn't included in that cost because we had this one laying around and everyone usually has an old backpack laying around. It's not the gear or the backpack you use, it's the gear inside of it. That's gonna save your life when you need to use it. So until next time, make yourself ready. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, click like and subscribe. And I am out of here. Where are you going? I'm going north. Oh, that's okay. Don't take Latin that from him. <laughs>